Mr. Kotil's audacious claim begs a serious question. How do the Canyon and the F-35 really stack up against each other? Do the facts and figures of the Canyon actually back up Kotil's claims? The challenge in attempting a proper head-to-head -head comparison of the two competing warbirds is that fact, as noted by Stefano Durso of The Aviationist, not much is known about Canian specifications. What we can do here and now is examine the specifications that Signore Durso was able to gather and place them alongside the F-35 specifications that came courtesy of the ever-so-handy official USAF fact sheets. Cullion Max airspeed Mach 1.8 1,381 miles per hour, 2,222 km per hour. Service ceiling, 55,000 feet. Power plant, 2XF110, GE129 engines with 58,000 pounds, 26,308 kg of thrust. F-35, max airspeed. Mach 1.6, 1,200 miles per hour, 1.975 km per hour. Service ceiling, above 50,000 feet. Power plant. 1X Pratt and Whitney F. 135 PW. 100 turbofan engine with 43,000 pounds, 19,504 kilogram of thrust. So then, based upon those admittedly limited stats, the Canyon does indeed appear to have some on-paper advantages over Lightning II. How those on-paper advantages translate to the real world if and when, inshallah, the Canyon makes it past the prototype phase to the production phase, remains to be seen. Regarding that prospective production phase, Mr. Kotil is full of bluster and confidence there too. He and his employer aim to deliver 20 of the new aircraft by 2028, along with ambitions to manufacture domestically made engines by that same year, and many more between 2030 and 2033. Time will tell whether Ty actually fulfills Kotil's rosy forecast, or if he ends up over-promising and under-delivering.